Hello active traders. With the stock market crashing this past week, how can you potentially profit from it by trading some of the inverse or bear ETFs that go up when the stock market crashes? Let's take a look at how that works in this week's episode. If you look at the S&P chart, it illustrates that old Wall Street saying that stocks take a staircase on the way up but an elevator when they crash on the way down. And nothing's been more true than this past week's catastrophic sell-off in the S&P. Well, I like to trade and I'm currently trading the inverse or bear ETFs. These are instruments that go up when the stock market sells off. There's a few quick tips I wanted to share with you on how to make the most of these instruments. Let's take a look at a few charts. One, the first one is SDS. Take a look at how strong it's moved up here lately, SDS. The next chart I want you to look at is QID. QID. Now these are ones I've traded for many years, since back before the flash crash days. And I always trade these, and I'm currently trading these long in my active trading accounts right now because they're moving up so sharply on the stock market sell-off. So SDS is one, QID is another. The next one is uh, FAZ. It's the finance triple bear. FAZ, another chart that runs up when the stock market sells off. For real eye-opener, look at how high these guys are trading back in the 2008 sell-off. They're way up here. They've come down during the stock market rally, and now they're starting to tail up. So it makes sense to look for potential long plays in those. The next one to look at is TZA. Now there's many of these out there. I just wanted to cover some of the my personal favorites that I've been trading for lots of years and I'm currently trading small size to get started in my own live trading accounts. But TZA makes sense. So take a look at this chart, TZA. And the last one is dust. This one goes up when the price of gold goes down. Now normally dust goes up when the stock market goes up because Gold and the stock market are inversely correlated. When one goes up, the other goes down. But in this case, DUST is a bear gold ETF that's also been running up here lately as well. It's got a really spectacular chart. So keep an eye on these types of charts to potentially capitalize on the market as it continues to sell off in the upcoming weeks and months ahead. Now there's three quick tips I'll leave you with in today's brief video for how to trade these the right way. Number one is make sure you've got a specific trading plan in mind that develop, that defines your risk up front and gets you into scale in or position size uh, as things go up. So I will often trade these four or five or six times over the course of a month by adding to winning trades as they keep going up. Instead of trading a thousand shares out of the gate, I may start off 40, 50, 60, 100 shares in each of these uh, and then double the trade every couple three points as it runs up. So position sizing or scaling or uh, legging into the trade, whatever you want to call it, adding to the winners is a really important core strategy. The second tip is risk management. Now these instruments, because many of them are leveraged, they're 2x or 3x instruments, are often not suitable for newer traders. Where they have, with the leverage, with the great uh, power comes great responsibility, uh, leverage can cut both ways. So just as these can run up sharply for you, they can also drop down sharply as well. So do have a careful risk management strategy in place. I will often start to scale back out of my trades, for example, if they lose two days of support. So, you know, today in the most recent previous day, if it gets under those two days of support, it may start selling to go to cash, either lock in a profit or take a small initial stop. So two days low support for risk management is a important tip kind of words of the wise I've been trading these guys since before the flash crash days so I know how to trade them the right way okay and the third tip is play a handful of them you don't want to just trade one or two diversify I'm often in five or six of them simultaneously so whether you're trading QID, SDS, FAZ, TZA, DUST or even others uh, it's a, it makes sense to you know, play the field or play a handful of them so that you can be in on several trades that are intelligent, they're focused, they make sense, uh, and you're diversifying your risk. So make sure that you add to the winners, that you're scaling in, you're trading the tightest charts. Is maybe the, the, another tip is uh, of these, some will have cleaner, more strongly defined uptrends, or they'll gap and gap and run you know, oftentimes on a particularly strong sell off market day. During market crashes, 
often there's panic out there. And so these guys will often gap up, which is great for us longs uh, because they're going up when the stock market sells off. Uh, do look for entries above new longs, uh, above new gap highs for new long positions. And of the field, trade whoever has the current tightest trading channel or the cleanest, best defined, intelligent, smart chart that makes sense to trade on a continuous move up. So anyway, that's uh, my tips for this week. I'm Ken Calhoun from TradeMastery.com. Wishing you and yours the best. Uh, I always like to profit from the stock market sell-off, uh, as I've done in the past by trading these guys uh, when they go up, when the stock market drops. So uh, for more on how to trade these and some tips on specific entries, you may want to look at my two resources. For swing traders, uh, look at swingscans.com, www.swingscans.com. And uh, I posted good uh, calls for it's a couple of these last week for our members, and we'll continue to pro provide focus on those as the market sells off. So if you're a swing trader, you may want to give swing scans a try. It's my most popular alert service because it's for swing traders who want to trade anywhere from a week or two up to several weeks or even a month on directional moves that are moving strongly. And the other main service that I offer is my live trading room at www.tradingtheopen.com. Tradingtheopen.com. Since the year 2000, I've been around since dinosaurs roamed the earth, uh, it seems. I've uh, been trading so many tens of thousands of traders, but trading the open, we had really good calls on UVXY and VXX last week, uh, which are some of the VIX ETNs. You may want to see the related video that I posted a week ago on the VIX ETNs. And those are uh, even they're, they're more risky, but also more lucrative if you're on the right side of it. They have huge trading ranges and definitely for more experienced, sophisticated traders. But the VIX ETNs uh, and the inverse ETFs is something I also cover in the tradingtheopen.com live trading room. So don't panic when the markets sell off. Look for a plan to profit from how the markets move. Now, the last tip is I do not like to swing trade short because I don't like the overnight risk of something gapping up and wiping out a big chunk of my trading account. So rather than swing trade short during bear market sell-offs, uh, and for you options traders, you might want to, you know, look at buying your puts or selling calls or doing more advanced strategies. Look at the spreads, though, and the open interest and your Greeks and make sure the math works out for those. But, uh, you know, for stock market sell-off conditions, I like to buy the inverse ETFs and the VIX ETN. So learn from me at swingscans.com and tradingopen.com or look at the videos here on my YouTube channel. Uh, and in my articles in Stocks and Commodities magazine. So until next time, trade tight and be on the right side of your trades. Uh, trade a diversified group of a handful of instruments on small initial pilot share size. Uh, and let's go get them. Take care and best wishes for success in your trades. Goodbye for now. Great job, Ken. You were amazing. Hi traders, we hope you like this trade mastery video with Ken. Go ahead and subscribe to Ken's YouTube channel and post your comment or question in the area below. Thanks for watching and good trading.